D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? A witch passes on her sinister inheritance to her granddaughter, triggering a horrific curse. Two Witches is directed by Pierre Sigurides and stars Rebecca Kennedy, Christina Caleb, Belle Adams, Tim Fox, and Ian Michaels, just to name a few. Sorry if I got their names wrong. This movie isn't so much about the witches, but more about their victims. I feel bad for all of the people in this movie. This two-story anthology about modern-day witches and witchcraft really shows the depths in which the devil's harlots will go to get what they want. It's a well-crafted film that takes the low budget and uses it to its fullest. Uh, this two-story anthology movie that tells the tale of, you guessed it, two witches. The first story is an expectant young mother, Sarah, is convinced she has been given the stink eye from a mysterious old hag, witch number one, while she is dining with her boyfriend and baby daddy, Simon. When the couple go to visit his hippy-dippy and Wiccan wannabe friends, Dustin and Melissa. Where true to horror movie tropes, they attempt to consulting a Ouija board to sedate all of Sarah's fears. Meanwhile, uh, this first story was very funny to me because uh, uh, back to Dustin and Melissa, they were funny because I know people like this. They're all like, I have to do my research on the occult. And you're like, oh, get out of here with that nonsense. Check out my new mask that I got. It's so it's from turn of the century Africa. It's from the Wogutu tribe. And you're like, oh, get out of here. I don't want to hear about this nonsense. Anyways. Meanwhile, stuff is getting really weird between roommates Rachel and Masha, what a weird name, after a violent incident involving a man that the weird Masha has brought home. This movie is really hard to review. On one hand, I really want you to watch it, but on the other hand, I went in with no expectations, and I think my biggest problem is just the lack of information. Like, when this movie starts out, it's truly awful. Like, initially awful. You get that vibe throughout the entire thing. In terms of these uh, bitches, I mean witches, are pure evil and will do whatever it takes to get what they want. All this movie is missing is Vincent Price. This movie has such a strong vibe, and I think Pierre Sigurides is someone to watch because I think that he is such a strong artistic director. But I did get a sense the whole time of what am I watching and what is going on here? You think a lot of that goes back to the lack of information. There is this shadowy female figure in both stories that is never explained. In the first story, you understand what's going on. This old woman, a witch, and Masha's grandmother is stalking a young woman to feast on her unborn child, which she succeeds, and then is killed by this shadowy woman figure. The movie is so stylistic that the eerie and creepy visuals right from the start really pull you in. I find Sigurides really pulls you in and rarely repeats himself. I don't want to tell you any of the specifics because I don't know if that will ruin them in terms of surprise. The second story is a little bit more vague in terms of what's going on. Masha is a weird, which we get because she tells us the whole freaking story. But she basically goes single white female on Rachel, wanting her success, her boyfriend, man, does she want her boyfriend, and her life. She even goes as far to appropriate a past experience that Rachel told her about and adopts the story as her own. It all culminates with Masha being severely burned by a victim and then surrounded by her coven, which we've never been introduced to until the last five minutes. And then this shadowy, uh, the shadow woman uh, shows up and the movie ends. So in conclusion, I hope audience appreciate what I think is a bold swing because I'd really be curious to see how they could set up a sequel, which is teased. I really want to know what happened to Charlie. Um, I'm curious to see where Masha's story goes from here. And I think they do have some ideas. And I would suggest watching this with someone that has a true love for low budget horror movies. And I think uh, and I can't think of a better way to kick off the spooky season. Two Witches is now streaming on Arrow Player in the U.S., Canada, U.K., and Ireland. Um, so I would suggest watching it. 
So that is my review for Two Witches. Um, tell me, did you guys see this movie and what did you think of it? Which story was your favorite? Uh, my personal favorite was the first story. Um, and you know, uh, you know, where do you think they could go with uh, Two Witches Two? You know, um, what would they call it? Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys thought. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next movie review. You guys have a good uh, spooky season. <laughs> Bye.